welcome back to the finale, or the end, of Let's Play Toho Mother. Everyone was just about ready to annihilate us, as you saw just a minute ago. And boy, after they figured it out, that must have left a hell of an impact. Remu and Marissa, they just stood there and did their best to survive. That was really all they could do. Marissa just sat there and didn't do anything for the whole entire time. Remu at least tried to stay alive. Keep her and Marissa alive. Tenchi, though, didn't do a damn thing to help. I don't think she could have helped anyway. Her rainbow sword broke, so... Yay, I guess? Oh, well. But, we did it! We managed to put an end to Porky's big giant incident. And boy, it was a big one. Risking all of Gensokyo for the sake of it. Just to keep it the way it is. Reimu, Marissa, Yuka, and Bima. They did their damn best. And they succeeded. Well, with that said, everyone's here, and everyone's ready to... party, I guess? I guess that's the best way to describe it. Oh, me linger right here. Uh, that won't allow us through. Can I go see, like, what's going on in here? Yeah, there's... everyone's here, apparently. Huh. What well, do you know? I don't think, uh... yeah. I don't think, uh, PC-98 is here, though, sad to say. I could be wrong, though. I could be very wrong. So, I guess there's that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and say, let's talk to everybody and see how they're doing. Oh, come on, Sparky. You know you want to sing. Who's a good singing dog? Who's a good singing dog? There might be a reference in that. I don't understand. Huh. I wonder who she's talking about. You'll come back. You missed all the food that they could cook for you, or the food you cook for yourselves and for them. That, and I think Kanako will be alright. Kanako... Kanako's very hard-headed, but... I think she'll be alright. What do you say? Darn it. I'm using a new controller here, so it's trying to trying to use this fine finesse is kinda it's kinda tough, honestly. One last time. One last time for you, Sawako. I do love the music here, by the way. It's, this kind of, it's a really nice, mellow song, just to relax and settle down after a journey that, man, it really makes you think on how you adventures beforehand were, like, so minuscule, I guess. See? Um... Well... Hmm. Okay, so, um, I'll just explain this now. All they're gonna do is play the song that you played at the par last party. They're just gonna play that again. But I'm gonna do my own karaoke version of it. So if you don't want to hear the karaoke version of it, I'll put a timestamp or I'll put it a link somewhere, or I'll just tell you when when to skip ahead to the next part. So, yeah, I'll just I'll just do that. It'll be an annotation, so make sure you put your cap their closed captioning on as well. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give it a try. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So, brace your ears, brace your lives, and brace the fact that you may never, ever experience something so horrible in your life. Because I know I'm going to mess this up at least once. 
but we'll see. I used to think I was so smart But I couldn't hide a hole in my heart Sad as it seems None of my dreams ever came true I used to walk the avenue All by myself with nothing to do Kicking the cans Half of a man Till I met you And then I knew I've looked for you my life around every corner Wishing on stars like some kind of fool Ooh, But now I see the stars in your eyes Those days are over I took one look and I was hooked I found heaven in you And all my dreams was overdue my prayers were answered out of the blue And now I know, I know it's true All that I needed was you You can uncover your ears now or you know what? You can put on your headphones now, people. It's over. I'm good. I got that out of my system. I did it. I did it. None of you can say I can't, didn't do it. None of you can say I can't sing. So there you go. Now with that ear raping thing out of the way. Hmm. Letting people in is not a bad thing though, Mei Ling. Just saying. Is Koa -Koa still, Koa Kuma still busy? Nothing happened. Nothing happened inside Koakuma scene. Koakuma just kinda minded her own business, I guess. And we never saw her again, sadly. Or we never saw her at all, so there you go. Anything but Jolie's room? You! Yes, you done more than your best. You did something pretty fantastic, honestly. This game does have its flaws, especially the fact that hard and lunatic may be impossible with this mode, honestly, in this game. But honestly, I really love this one. I'll I'll give my like opinions and such and and things and such later. Let me take a look here. I don't think I can go anywhere else, honestly. No, I can't go in there. And I can go in here, but there's nothing in here. Yeah, okay. So let's have a word with everybody here, and let's see what's gonna, what, uh, what everyone's up to. You, you're moving around a lot. Come here. Come here. Come here, you. Oh, actually, that's the point. We haven't seen Yuka or Mima at all. That's... Huh. I wonder where they are. Don't you worry, Raisin. I'll force Eddie to fix you back to the way you were. Sooner or later. One of these days. Wow. Two mortal enemies, like, talking to each other and contemplating on working with each other. That's weird. <laughs> yes, it does, Kine. Yes, it does. 
kidding! You're better than that! You're not supposed to make the puns here! Come on! That's so silly! Have you now, Cyrano? I really hope you have grown up, Cyrano. I really hope so. Good dream, Remu. Or Rumia. Good dream. Huh? <laughs> ah, glad you can make it, Ant. I'm glad you can make it. Marissa, I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> I got a big bone to pick with you for trying to make us sound like crazy heroes. Which we are, but heroes are modest. Let's get that point across. And what are you guys doing here? Well, everyone seems to like Yo Yuyuko. Just the usual, huh, Yomu? Yomu? Huh. Big Mass wanna stick around then, I guess. I'll have sake later. Sure thing, Sakuya. Really, yeah. What about you? Dude, we have the Franklin badge. Can I equip it? Can I equip it? Where is it? Damn it, where is it? Franklin badge. How? Uh, magic. Well, I guess we can't equip it. Darn you! You gave me a weapon that I can't use! How dare you! How dare you! Ah. Uh, oh well. Get in your Fr Franklin badge, though. That, that was, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Gotta say. Well, I think we talked to everybody. Everybody is here, at least. So, I guess we're good? Raymo? Huh? Oh! Oh yeah, I named myself that, didn't I? Um... Well, um... Hi! Nice meeting you guys! Yes, I'm here. Hi, um... How you doing? Oh jeez. So many eyes. Well, I was glad to do my part, honestly. I was really happy that this whole thing just kind of blew over and things are happy now, and yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for being a pretty good protagonist, honestly. Well, don't, don't take that as an insult, please. Please. That's all we have to do, huh? Well, I'm always staying strong, so don't worry about me.
And, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Let's Play Toho Mother. Whoo, doggy, it's actually over. <laughs> oh man, the, the all the times that I have spent just thinking like, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to handle this? Oh man, this, this was fun, honestly. This was fun. I played this game before, and I've really had my fun with it, and I, I, I just can't praise it enough. It's a, it's a really fun game for me, honestly. While it, there are, oh my god, so, so, no, yeah, he's turned into a Sabaco hat. No, zombie. No. But um, yeah. If I can say anything, this game has definitely brought it together in a mix that really makes it feel like that Earthbound game that you all know and love, and all that good stuff. But it stuck itself out to being that same Toho game that you would expect from a Toho game. Kind of chaotic, but you know, if you know what you're doing, you can handle it. You can do it. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. But, um... I guess... I guess it's time for final results, final review of the Guild game as a whole. Honestly, I really liked how the story flowed every how the story flowed from like the whole narrative. There were a couple of times, yes, I, I mentioned this already, but there were a couple of times where in gameplay wise, you just you really don't really know what you're doing. You don't know where you're going or how, where you're gonna be like at all. It uh yeah, it it just kind of made things a little annoying to do, honestly. But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just how things op operate somehow. Maybe that's just like why things are the way they are. But no, honestly, honestly, I don't have too much of a complaint for this one. I just had a there's just a few here and there that I had to mention because. Hey, raising a bit to normal! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Raisin! Or Una in this case. Fun fact, when I first started playing Toho and understand what it was, I always called Raisin um, Udon. Like, it was weird, I always called it Udon. I think it showed in my Mega Mario Let's Play, because I always called her Udon. Not sure why, honestly, but, yeah, well. But, getting back to the point here. The game felt really... It was really story-heavy, so the fighting mechanics and the... Uh, and the uh, wandering mechanics, the monotony and whatever... It kind of felt like they were put in the back burner, just so they could be focused on the story. Which, that's what the focus of this game was. It was the story. And as a story... Again, I felt it really gave a good mix for Toho and Earthbound or Mother in Japan, so, yeah. So, I guess in that sense, it was a really good story. I don't know if I can really give it a 10 out of 10, but it's, I still liked it. I mean, I still really had fun with it. I, I enjoyed playing through it again after, I don't know how long it's been since I played it the last time. But, overall though, this story, I love the story of this one, and I love how the fighting mechanics worked. It felt like you really had a hard time to die, but if you didn't focus, you can still die. You can still die pretty easily. I mean, freaking Marissa died several times in this whole series, and it's because she's weak or whatever. Yeah. And... I mean, it, it, again, it's not perfect by any means, but... S, all I can say to you, you did your best, and I think you did really good. Nice job. So, I guess I'll just leave it at that then. That overall, this game has, uh, it really had potential of being a better game. I will say that. Maybe just try to, try to find a way to make some pointers out as to where you're supposed to go. And don't have them like exploring every single spot ever to figure it out. 
just just little nippets like that, I guess, really would really would have really made the difference in the few tiny complaints I've had in this one. So, yeah, I guess that's that's where we'll leave it at. So, so from me to you all, I really hope you enjoyed this let's play. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this story unfold as a story as a whole. And I really hope you guys will at least try it out yourselves if you want to try out some of the things you're just uh, just to do something, you know. I I really appreciate the fact you guys watched this the whole way through, and I appreciate that everyone took the time to like watch this from wherever they're watching, however they're watching it, at whatever point they're trying to watch this. It just means a lot. So yeah. So I guess I'll leave it at that then. So with that said, this is Kibatu, and until our next Let's Play, goodbye to you. Laters! <laughs>